I'm Caden. I'm Jason. I'm Jaden. I'm Eli. And we are the Yahoo and the Torah YouTube channel. And we are very thankful that you guys are with us today, and we know your time is precious, and so we try to keep these as precise as we can. And what we are going through right now is we're going through kind of a, a third-party list of the commandments of Yahuwah. Now, there is a list out there, which I do not believe is the correct list because there's actually quite a bit more commandments, but this is a good starter list. And so we are on the third section of that, which is 21 through 30. And we actually went through 21 yesterday, but we're going to revisit this a little bit. And before we begin on this, the reason that we should understand the laws, statutes, and commands is because in our lives, there are places and, and times when we absolutely need a reference. If something happens or we go somewhere, if you went to a barbecue and somebody offered you up some pig, right, and you didn't know the law, statutes, and commands, you might actually eat it. And then you would become an abomination to our creator, right? He says those who eat pig are an abomination to him and the prayers are not heard. And so right out of the gate, that is a really bad way to get on the good side of our creator. So... We're not looking for, I suppose we are looking for brownie points. We're looking for a dedicated soldier to our creator. That is what we want to be. We want to be friends of Elohim. And the only way to become a friend of Elohim is, number one, understand what his laws, statutes, and commands are all about. So, let us begin. And we are starting here at Leviticus 21. And we actually went over this yesterday. Who has, or actually not 21, Leviticus 21, but Leviticus 19, and this is the 21st command in this guy's list. And for those who've been following along, you guys know that a couple of these, these guy has in his list are, are wrong. So this is why it's important that we go through these, take a look at them, see what's right, see what's wrong. And I'm not saying the laws of God are wrong, but he has things that are wrong in this list. They're labeled wrong. They're labeled wrong. So let's just take this. So he just typed up the list and he actually never went through this thing, I don't think. So here we go. Leviticus 19, 18. Who begins? I will. You shall not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of your people. But you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am Yahuwah. Okay. So that one was one we did yesterday, and, and it's 20 and 21. So obviously, I'm bearing a grudge is, is somebody does you wrong, and you spend nights, days, weeks, months dwelling up on that. And the first chance you got, depending on who you are, you might extract revenge. Hopefully not. Okay. The next one, 22, which is teach Torah to your children, which is Deuteronomy 6, 7. Who has that? I do. And it starts in Deuteronomy 6, 7. It should actually start in 6. It goes, And these words which I am commanding you today shall be in your heart, and you shall impress them upon your children, and shall speak of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise up. Okay. So let's take this real quick. When you guys rise up, what is always on the, the what, what are you guys always hearing? The Torah uh, being played. Right. And so when the Torah is always being played, um, when we wake up, that is that we're, we're abiding by this command, right? And so you guys, do you guys believe that you have a firm grasp on the Torah? I would think so, yes. If you are to be judged by the Torah, are you ready to be judged by the Torah? I mean, yes. That's not like, a trick question. That's... Yes, I am ready to be judged by the Torah. Well, like, I know the Torah. I know what I'm doing. I feel like what I'm yeah, doing is correctly. Absolutely. It's pleasing him. Right. And so that is a question to all of you guys out there. Are you ready to be judged by the Torah? Because in when Judgment Day comes, that is how we will be judged. We will be judged based upon the Torah. And if, if we do not know the Torah... It says clearly in the Bible that ignorance was not blessed you're, when you're standing in the fire. You will be judged by the Torah regardless if you know the Torah or if you don't. And so as parents, as people, as individuals, even if you guys are kids out there and your parents aren't advising you in the Torah, it is something that you guys should, should break the generational curse, get into the Torah, start keeping the Torah, and then teach it to your kids where your parents don't teach you. And for parents... It is of utmost importance, it doesn't matter what age it is, that you start getting your kids into the Torah. There's, there's no other way for us to know what iniquity is unless we teach the Torah to our kids. 23, to respect and defer to the elders. Leviticus 19.32. All right, it says, You shall rise up before the gray head and honor the face of the old man and fear your Elohim. I am Yahuwah. All right, so gentlemen, this, this uh, is pretty basic. Yeah, I mean, respect people older than you. Give them respect. They've been through a lot more than you have. They understand a lot more, so you should respect them. 
Yeah, and absolutely. For kids out there, the gray hair is, you know, you look at the people with gray hair. I mean, they've been there. They've done it. They may have not done it right. They may have not done it to perfection. But what you get out of that is you get experience and you get people who understand that. And so that is a, a, a tremendously good law, right? And if you didn't have that, we have kids in, in these days and there's no respect to the elders. That nobody cares what grandpa knows or nobody cares what the elders. They just don't care. 24. Do not turn to the ways of idol worship. Leviticus 19.4. Turn ye not unto idols, nor make to yourselves molten Elohim. I am Yahuwah Elohim. All right. Guys, what is an idol? Uh, something you make and worship. It could be really anything. It could be your cell phone. It could be a TV. It could be... Peyton a, Manning. Peyton, yeah, there you go. Anybody, anybody you worship or put a high pedestal, you worship more than Elohim. Right, and so when we have celebrated celebrities, let's just take the Super Bowl. Let's throw everything under the Super Bowl. They are worshipped as little case gods. The world worships athletes like gods, and they go and they're celebrated. They're um, it's 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 actually really sick when it does, you know. And, and a lot of these guys, you know, they have, they they are special athletes, but we worship them, and that becomes our idol. Anything we worship can become our idol. Did you have some kid? Uh, the 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 worship of athletes during say the Super Bowl it's a they have a satanic festival they have parties they go paint themselves they do evil things on that day it is a it's like a pagan festival back in the days they put paint on their bodies they go around and have parties and do yeah. crazy wicked things yeah absolutely yeah so the whole painting of your bodies and doing that stuff that's all that's all um, pagan worship and and we are not supposed to do that okay. Uh, verse twenty or the twenty fifth one on this list. Let the fringes of your on your clothes remind you to have pure conduct. Numbers fifteen thirty nine. All right. Okay. So this is a two part verse. Without the first verse above it, it's not going to make sense. So I'm going to read the first verse. It's actually Numbers fifteen thirty eight, and it goes: Speak to the children of Israel and say, and you shall say to them to make zizit on the corner of their garments throughout their generations, and to put a blue cord in their zizit of the corners, and it shall be for you. Is easy, and you shall see it, and shall remember the commands of Yahuwah, and shall do them, and not search after your own heart and your own eyes, after which you went whoring. Okay, so yeah, this guy has this one wrong. He has a whole bunch of these wrong. So the the Duke guy or whoever he's from, um, it, these aren't correct. So it's Numbers fifteen thirty eight, and that is an extremely important verse because we are supposed to have tassels on the four corners of our our, our garments. And it was a, it's a way that other people can identify you as being children of the most high. And I'm not talking about the Jews who have just a straight white tassel because they can't get colors in their tzitzits. Um, it is, it is, you're supposed to have two different colors, blue and white, and you're supposed to wear them around on the corners of your tzitzits, but tuck them in if you use a weed eater. Right, that's the that's the law. Or, <laughs> that's the law of our house. Or if you go feed cows, I mean, they they, they go and eat grain, and they, especially the babies, because you go feed them their bottles, and they go eat grain, and they go try they, and chew on your zizits, thinking that's something they can eat, and they, it's real gross. It's yeah, just not a great thing. It's not pleasant. <laughs> so tuck your zizits in, and that isn't a command in the Bible. That is a uh, that is just some advice from us who wear zizits. All of us, everybody in this house, including my wife, we all wear zizits. It's just we have, we always have, and I, I feel like a traitor to Yah when I leave my house without zizits on. Okay, verse 20, uh, 26, not to blaspheme or curse a judge, Exodus 22, 27. All right, so Exodus 22, 27. I'm going to start with verse 26 here. It says, if you, take your if you take your neighbor's garment as a pledge at all, you are to return to him before the sun goes down. For that is his only covering. It is his garment for his skin. What is he sleeping? And it shall be that when he cries to me, I shall hear, for, and for I show favor. Okay, so that has absolutely nothing to do about blasphemy or no, cursing judge. judge. It has to be, don't okay. steal your neighbor's clothes. Yes, don't. don't take your neighbor's garments for a bond and not give them back, right? If you leave your neighbor clothesless, it's going to be an issue. Did I touch, is that? Yeah, that's Exodus 22, 27. Yeah, so this, guy's, this guy really needs to check his stuff. But this is why we are here to do this. So 26 is not that at all. Okay, 27. Not to worship idols. Now, 27 and 28 is, is uh, the same one. Not to bow down to idols. So there's two in one. So let's go over Exodus 25. All right. So it says, you do not bow down. Okay, so I got to go to verse 4 first. You do not make for yourself a carved image or any likeness of that which is in the shadow above or which is in the earth beneath or which is in the waters under the earth. You do not bow down to them nor serve them. For I, Yahuwah your Elohim, am a jealous El, visiting the wickedness of the fathers on the 
children of the third and fourth generations of those who hate me. So very big words right here. Um, obviously, th these are the commandments. Uh, and there's a thing called the generational curse. And we are all under a generational curse. If your parents did not keep Torah and they lived just how the world lives, more than likely you have ended up with a generational curse. And the generational curse can be diabetes. It can be, um, it can be things of, um, and I say diabetes because when we, when we are gluttons, it, it, and there's two different kinds of diabetes. The diabetes of gluttons is the one I'm talking about, where we eat ourselves into a diabetic haze, right? That is, that is unholy stuff. We should not be doing that kind of stuff. When we are, um, where am I going with this stuff, guys? Like if like your family was eating, say you eat pork. like pork, right? And you get in these intestinal diseases because they carry so much disgusting germs and they carry all this disease in them and you end up with a stomach disease from that. That's Or if you become an adulterer and you end up getting some STD and you end up with some horrible disease, you can carry that on. You, I mean, all of this stuff you can carry on if you're an alcoholic and you your, your dad is drinking and you grow up in a drinking house, there's a good chance you're drinking. If your dad's an alcoholic and he's beating you while he's drinking, there's a good chance you're going to grow up and beat your kids because that is the curse of the generation. And when you get into the Torah, you would know things of like beating the kids senselessly isn't what we should be doing. Now, and that's not to say we shouldn't beat the kids because we should absolutely beat the kids. It says you should not spare the rod. You should, you should, you should do it. It says you will not hurt them. You will not kill them. And it's better to beat them than it is to let them grow up and be evil. And for disciplining, not out of anger. Disciplining and not absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt. Thank you very much for that. And that's what it should be. And so if you are, if the kids are being beat out of anger, that's the wrong thing. But if you're beating them to change the ways that they are, and you know, the, the, the litmus test is the Torah, right? That is our guide. That is what we should be doing. And if you're breaking the Torah, all of us should be getting rods against our back. Okay, so where are we at right here? Number 30. Number 30, um, which is not to make or cast an image. So Leviticus 19.4, who has this? Uh, we already read this one, but we'll read it again. Read it again. Turn ye not unto idols, nor make to yourselves molten Elohim. I am Yahuwah Elohim. Yeah, and I guess that's, um, you know, when you guys have a cross around your neck, that's an idol. When you guys are, when people, like all the Catholic Church, you, you bow down to Mary, you bow down to Peter, you bow, all of these little, what, talismans and things of this nature um it is all images they're all idols there's only one elohim he's not made of uh, wood he's not made of metal he's not made of anything he's he's a he's a spirit he's alive he's 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 his own thing so when we make an image of anything we are breaking the covenant that we have with him because our our creator wants us to serve him and nobody else he's a jealous l right Right. So nothing should we, no, we shouldn't put idols in our lives. We shouldn't create something and worship it. We should worry you worship Elohim. What about money? Is the money an idol? Yeah, money is absolutely. absolutely. An idol. If you are lusting for that money, you want that money, no matter what it takes, and you're just trying to get money and make it the best thing in your life, that is becomes an idol to you. Yeah, it becomes an idol, and and our Creator wants our attention. He wants us to be speaking to Him, and He wants He's jealous, right? And if He wants you to have money, He will give you that money. He's not going to leave you homeless. If you if he wants you to be homeless, he will have it for his will. Everything like Yeshua said, who sinned, this man or his parents. And he said it was so for the will of Elohim to be done. And so he will have his will done through all things. Yeah, and absolutely. And that's we must understand the will of our creator is not always to walk through the flowers on a good sunny day with no bee stings, right? There's going to be times when we go through these flowers and we're going to get stung. The rain is going to come. It's going to look uh, treacherous. It's going to look like, it's going to feel like we're walking alone, but we are never walking alone because we always have the spirit of the most high with us. And especially when we're keeping the law, statutes, and commands. If we are out of covenant with our creator and we're looking for the spiritual help and spiritual uh, guidance, we're not going to find it. And so this is why it's important. This is why it's worth our time to go through these law, statutes, and commands. And, you know, we we are here doing this for the very small numbers. We're here doing this for the ones and twos. I don't, I personally don't care if we ever end up with mass amounts of views. I don't care if we end up with a lot of subs. I don't care any of this. There are the very few, and these are the, the, the folks that we are trying to get through to because the, the, the road is very narrow. The path is very narrow, and most do not make this path. They do not make it at all. 
So, gentlemen, that is it. It has been a good Shabbat. Have you guys had a good restful Shabbat? Yeah, it was very for the most part. Restful, peaceful. All right, and so for everybody out there, I hope you guys kept the Shabbat. I hope you guys began your covenant walk with our Creator, and we will keep doing these till we get through this guy's list. You know, he's got six hundred thirteen of these, and so far we found a whole bunch of mistakes. So that is good. Then we can dial these in and maybe we'll make our own list one day. Uh, but it, it wouldn't be anything like this because I'm not going to carry on with the Jewish 613 because I, I believe there's a lot more than that. So anyway, that's it. Much love to everybody out there. Read your Bibles. All right. Shabbat shalom. All right. Goodbye, everyone.